Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And so my wife got the mini tins of the Scarlet and Violet set with some fantastic artwork featuring the three starters, uh, Palma and uh, Pikachu there, of course. So fantastic artwork. Paldea Evolve is coming out. My content creation is going to change a little bit because I want to do something for Paldea Vault. So, uh, this is going to be in the meantime. Let's get this opening going and uh, see what we pull. We might pull something good. You never know. So, there is the art card of the tin uh, case. And I lined them up in what I assume is the artwork order uh, to try to make that one big picture. So, right here is... The beautiful artwork featuring LeChonk there in the background, of course. LeChonk is awesome. We all love LeChonk. Oh, and a sticker. Forgot the stickers. Let's get these two packs out. Okay, so one Garland Violet and one Silver Tempest. Interesting. Uh, all right. Oh, no, that goes this way. Nope, I was right the first time. <laughs> Or maybe I was right the second time. I don't know. But there we go. We've got that going. So let's go ahead and open up the Silver Tempest first. It came first. So might as well open that first. Silver Tempest. Uh, what are we hoping for? Obviously, I think the big hope is that Art Alt Art Lugia. But at the same time, I'm not sure like if Lugia is holding its value anymore, honestly. I mean, probably is, but I don't know. All right, so we are, of course, starting off with Stunfisk as soon as the camera focuses. Don't look over there. Look here. Only Stunfisk matters. I think that might be what we get. Oh, and I keep moving it closer. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. There's a focus. So we got Stunfisk. Vulpix. Snow Run. And it's no longer focused. Do I have anything that could help? Ah, here we go. Maybe covering them up well. We also got the EX Battle Decks here. Uh, maybe covering up some of this stuff will help it focus on the right thing. Cover up with more words, which we'll probably focus to instead. There we go. Snow Runt. Fletchling. Forest Seed, Unidentified Fossil, and Zero Aura. Lightning Energy, Brixen, Sigalith, and a Golbat. The Brixen is actually pretty fun with the uh, Flare Parade attack. But uh, out of that, yeah, nothing really to write home about. So let's go ahead and open up Scarlet and Violet. Paldea Evolve coming soon. Uh, super excited for the new set. Got some ideas brewing already, but uh, not taking a full deep dive into the set just yet as uh, I'm going to do that on camera. That's what I'm going to be doing. All right, so we are starting this off with a very fun Drift Loon Balloon Blast. Got to make that work somehow without Gardevoir, you know? Like, I could make a Gardevoir deck with it. Sprigatigo, by the way. Uh Flittle, I could make a Gardevoir deck with uh, Drifloom, but then you're just making a Gardevoir deck with Drifloom. Like, I want to make a Drifloom deck. We got Viper here, Nest Ball, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, Tarantula, and a Poke Gear 3.0, followed up by Annihilate. And a Psychic Energy. This was pretty good uh, cards featured on the channel, actually. I mean, we've got Nest Ball, which is in every deck, but Patrisu, Tarantula, and oh, Annihilate there. Did you see my Annihilate deck? If you didn't, check out that video. But I thought it was a lot of fun. I don't think these EX Battle decks are covering up and focusing and all that stuff. So let's just go ahead and open up the next art, which is Pikachu on the tin. Here we go. With a couple of uh, Capsa Kid in the background playing. That's nice. Yeah, looks like that matches up 
almost perfectly. No, it does match up perfectly. It is the match. And sticker of the artwork. If you like stickers, that's a great way to get them. Two packs coming at you. Come on. Come on, packs. Be nice. There we go. And yeah, Silver Tempest. I wonder if all these have Silver Tempest and Scarlet Violet. Would make it a lot easier to sort. There we go. So, of course, Silver Tempest first. It's always one of those, uh, you know, slightly awkward moments when you're opening packs so, like, close to the uh, new set being uh, released, you know? Like, there's some good cards still, but you're just so excited for the next set, you know? Here we are opening up Silver Tempest. We've got Rufflet, if ever wants to focus. If it ever wants to focus. Well, I don't think it's going to focus. Beldum. Emolga. Stunfisk. Oh, Vulpex. Worker. Arm, Armaldo. A Lightning Energy. Tora Cat. This one seemed interesting because it's Final Evolution. Has a real cool attack. Uh, Dragonair. And Venomoth. Uh, is this the one? Oh, okay. Not bad. Venomoth seems like it could have been fun. And it's like my brother's favorite Pokemon, so... Maybe I should try to revisit that and make a deck out of it. Although without Glimwood Tangle, it's real hard to commit to any of the uh, flippy cards. You know, if we had some way to like redo flips, I would probably be looking at a lot more of the flippy cards but because we can't do that we don't have glimwood anymore i just don't know if it's worthwhile you know so right off the bat we've got a tarantula riolu magneton klotzer mouse hold that was a fun deck vitality band always useful toxicity a flaffy a muck and a houndstone. All right, oh, lightning energy. All right, the mousehold deck was a lot of fun. Um, I I really enjoyed that deck. I wish there was a way to get the mouseholds out a little bit easier. Um, as soon as one gets KO'd, your power level really starts dropping fast. So you need all four stage ones out, and you know, I tried to use Thornton to solve that issue. Mixed result on whether or not that was the right choice. But here we go. We've got the next art featuring Sprigatigo. And uh, is that Fido? I'm pretty sure that's Fido. I don't remember. It's Evolve for me. And that looks like Sim and Buttons. But Fido and Sprigatigo. Two very cute Pokemon. Yep. Artworks match. And I think we had this in the right order. We also got the sticker. Awesome sticker. Pack time. All right. We got Silver Tempest again. Let's do Silver Tempest first. Because it released first. And it makes sense in my brain to do that. So we're all beholden to this crazy brain that I have. That works in this very strange ways. Almost in mysterious ways, but you know. Alright. Let's get this pack started with Dratini. Cute art. Clink. Another Stunfisk. Togedemaru. Esper. Raichu. Ooh, and a Lolan Vulpex V Star. Nice. That one actually sees some play and a lone Volpex is always appreciated. We got a grass energy, a Sigilith, another Brakeson, and a Behem. I like the uh, psychic arrow attack. Dealing 60 to one of your opponent's Pokemon could possibly like take out some evolving basics and really mess with their day. 
Um, never really worked in practice, mostly because of all the Pokemon V running about. But I, I always liked the idea of that, of like being able to snipe their uh, bases that they're trying to keep, you know, safe. Although it can't be Bidoof, and if they got Manaphy out, that kind of messes it up, and like, you know, a lot of that. But, you know, let's not focus on the negative, right? The positive. We're opening up packs. We're having fun. We're having fun. All right, on to Toxel. Ralts, Growlithe, Shepet, Mezagoza, Heracross, Defiance Band, Florigato, Revavroom, and Arbolia. And a basic fire energy. Arbolia, that is one card that I want to do something crazy with. I mean, healing all damage on one of your Pokemon sounds nuts. You know, with these giant 300 plus HP Pokemon, being able to just say no, it's going to be around even longer, sounds like a great plan, but it being tied to a uh, stage two really seems to limit its possibilities, which is sad. But here we go. We've got some small lives and a Fuu Coco just chilling, just vibing, just vibing with everything going on. They're happy. Let's all be like them. And just be happy. Artwork again. Match up perfectly. Yeah. Oh, I just realized. Smoliv gets like two uh, cards. That's amazing. Smoliv is awesome. Oh, the sticker. In case you're wondering. Yes, we have the sticker. Scarlet and Violet. And Silver Tempest. Alright. Get this... Tin closed up. There we go. And Silver Tempest first. We got a little Volpex on this art uh, of the pack right there. Um, but I doubt we'll have another Alolan Volpex in the pack. You know? That just seems like a little too much Alolan Volpex, right? I don't know. We'll find out. We've got first up Spinarak. Come on, camera. Finnekin, Thebas, Chimeco, Fletchling, Smeargle. Smeargle's always fun. Talonflame. Talonflame is always like low energy attacks on a stage two. It's always so tempting. As a fire Pokemon, I'm rarely tempted, but Talonflame gets me sometimes. Dosujin. I don't know how you really say that name. V-Guard Energy, very useful. And Hypno. Search your deck for up to two stage one Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. That sounds like fun. A nice way to get stage two Pokemon out onto the field. But I'm not sure if that works in practice. It being a stage one itself and a, an attack. It is a single energy attack, which is nice, but... What are you really going to call out, and what benefit does Hypno really have beyond that attack, you know? So, all right. S uh, Scarlet and Violet time. Let's do this. We are starting off strong with a Magmamite. Torontula, the one that you actually use with Spidops. Pokemon Catcher. Clauncher. Flaffy. Blissey, which looks like fun. Tatsuguri, Beach Court, ooh, ooh, the beautiful Don Dozo. I got, I got to put that up. And Spidops. This pack was just calling my name. And Darkness Energy. So, um, I took Don Dozo and Spidops to Portland. My wife played Don Dozo. I played Spidops in some side events. It was a lot of fun. This pack was just calling to us. Now, I've got plenty of Spide Ops. I don't really need to separate it here. But that Dondozo is just gorgeous. Where are my sleeves? We got to sleeve it up, right? We got to sleeve up. We got to protect it. Let's get that Dondozo in a sleeve. And just take one last look at it before I set it to aside. Oh, man. If the camera would you know, focus correctly. There we go. Gorgeous. Uh, the artist is uh, Akira Ig 
Gawa. I, I am terrible at pronouncing names. I do apologize, but I believe that's what it is. A-K-I-R-A-E-G-A-W-A. So, just, yeah. They do. This is phenomenal work. So I'll just put that there. Put these sleeves back right there, right next to me. Easy to reach. And we will move on to the final tin with Quoxley and Smoliv. That Smoliv is exploding. Um, didn't really know they did that. Little awkward, but, you know, it's scared of Quoxley's energy. And frankly, Quoxley's got so much energy. Oh yeah, we had the artwork perfectly. Look at that. Look at that. Now, if I could actually line these up with my shaky hands, I could probably actually make this look good, but I can't. So, that's as good as we're going to get. Oh, man, that's really bugging me. It's fine. It's fine. And the sticker, in case you wanted to see the sticker, we got the sticker of it. On to the packs. We got Scarlet Violet. We got Silver Tempest. So if you do get these tins, mostly for this amazing artwork, I uh, do expect to get Silver Tempest. I don't know if they all are that, but all of mine were, so. All right, come on. Get this thing open. We got Alone Volpex on the artwork again. We got a white code card. Does that mean anything anymore? I feel like it used to with like older packs and Sun and Moon, but nowadays I just don't feel like it means anything. Let me know down in the comments. We are starting off with a Drowsy to match with the Hypno from the last pack. We got Vulpex, Rufflet, Halucha, Relicanth, Swablu, oh, Clink Clang, and a Fire Energy. Regenerative Energy, which is an interesting card. And Duos, Duo Susion. I, I don't know. V-Guard Energy. I don't know that one. That one just throws me through a loop. I know it's like cells and like cell splitting and like, you know, all that stuff. But yeah, I, it just throws me through a loop. Don't know why. Final pack. Final pack. And it is, of course, Scarlet and Violet. And that last pack was so good. Can this pack, being the last pack, be as good? We will have to see. Another white code card. Does it mean something? I doubt it. Right. We are starting off with Mareep. Little sheep. Uh, Silicobra. Bisharp. Riolu. Cacturn, I've been trying something with this Cacturn, it's not working out, but, you know, it's interesting. Mezagoza, Heracross, we got that Reverse Hollow Blissey, Toad's Cool, another Pokemon I've been playing with and trying to figure out. And Meowskarada, and Darkness Energy. Meowskarada, of course, not terrible, we've pulled, I'm pretty sure, a Sprigatigo, a, Fl a Florigato, and a Masquerada. Um, so I think we've pulled the whole evolution line there. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. These tins uh, are a lot of fun to open. Um, can't recommend them enough. Uh, you know, the artwork alone. I'm trying to get these art cards. I'm going to be distracted doing that for a while. You guys don't need to sit here while I try to line up these cards perfectly. But they do line up. They create one big artwork, which is fantastic. And I hope you enjoyed watching me open up some of the last Scarlet and Violet packs, I think, um, that I'm going to like deliberately buy. The next mini tins we'll probably end up getting. And uh, there might be Scarlet and Violet packs in those. So, you know, that sort of stuff. But, yeah, we'll see. And, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and end this with a Silver Tempest pack for whoever wants it. As soon as this... Well, you can probably read that, but if it clears up, you could scan it, and that'd be cool. If you do get this pack, of course, uh, let me know down in the comments what you pull, that you got it, so that other people know not to you know waste their time going for it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for... Uh, watching and like the video 
If you do, subscribe to the channel. If you like the stuff that I do here, and join the Discord so that, you know, we can do more one-on-one -on -one stuff, and I'll probably give away a Scarlet Violet pack in the Discord. You know, extra chances to win code cards and stuff. It's fun, right? I, I think so. And anyways, until next time, keep playing Jank.